Hey everyone, I'm Xunani. Welcome to this video in which I will make a mixed media artwork using watercolors, Procreate and Photoshop. I will explain you every step I do and show you some tricks. Let's do this. I decided to make a hand lettering. I chose the text, made a few notes about the color theme and what should going on around the type. I sketched how the type should look and where on the paper it should be. Even planned my layers before I started. This time this project was well planned. I used these brushes from Stefan Kunz. Look at them. Love them to place the type and make a layout. Now I write my text and transform it to the right place so it's easier to draw the type later. I make it a bit more transparent to easily draw over it. Don't forget to make a new layer before. Layers, layers are great, love layers. Here you can see it's a lot easier to draw the type I want if I can see where the letters should be. Now I'm sketching all the things which are in my head and yeah, something should grow around it cause it's a lot of magic in nature, in the plants, in the soil, in the air and in the water of course. Let's create a happy little place on our digital canvas. Now the final outlines. I want to draw the first layer in Procreate. You could do it also on paper with a marker or a pencil. There will be more layers later, so if you don't want to draw digital, you can scan your drawing afterwards to work with it. I want kind of an earthy feeling around the bottom, mossy, with a lot of roots on the ground, in the ground. I decided to just doodle around with black and white contrasts there. Of course, there live a few mushrooms, moss and organic structures. I got a bit crazy with this root area. I listened to an audiobook and I didn't think about much what I'm doing here. It was kind of a meditation. Perhaps I have to change it here and there in the end. I want the flowers to also grow out of the letters and what I like is to create kind of a movement in my pictures like a flow where your eyes can follow. If it's ready in the end, remember what I'm saying right now. Perhaps you can see the movement in this artwork. I'm ready now with the outlines. Look at that, I like it. It will be a lot of fun coloring it. Maybe you also would like to color it? Yeah. So I will link you this one to download in my video description. Have fun! My little nature magic present for you. Next step is to make a colorful watercolor background for this. I use my sketch to copy it on my watercolor paper. 
Then I know where is what. It's very easy to use copying paper for this. You also can use normal paper and go over it again and again with coal or soft pencil to create your own copying paper if you don't have one at home right now. Now I can easy start and have fun and let it flow. Here is it. I scanned it and imported it in my Procreate. I have to adjust it a bit and bring it as a layer below the outlines. I make the first outline layer more transparent, then it's easier to transform it on the right place. Now we select some colors from the background to fill in the outlines. The easy way is to hold your finger on a color until this little ring appears. The color on top of the ring is your new color. The color beneath is your actual color you worked with before. I make a new layer and choose a pencil. So let's start painting. You can drag and drop color in outlined areas to fill the parts easier and faster if you want. We are in a juicy meadow with fresh greens and flower flavor and perhaps the flavor of moisty soil. Perhaps you are lying on this meadow. The sun is shining on your closed eyes. You breathe slowly, calm inside. Listen to the cute bumblebees which are flying around. Birds sing and you know spring is coming. The nature comes to life again. The trees will be all green soon. The birds will build their nests to make baby birds. The sun will be warm like in this moment on your body. And all the life grows more and more. I love spring. This is pure magic. The magic of nature. We forgot a bit to flow with this nature magic together on our beautiful planet Earth. Perhaps it should be great to choose a day, let your mobile phone at home, go out in the nature or garden, or perhaps you are living in the mountains. Oh, that would be amazing. Wherever you are, Go out away from medias and to-do lists to calm down a moment, an hour, a day. You are worth it. It's okay to hold on for a moment and do nothing, just be. Just feel the sun. Hear the birds and bees. Breathe in and out. No place for anciency. No place for self-doubt. You are perfect like you are. And you can be kind to yourself. And say thank you to yourself that you made it so well today. Or the last difficult years. We are all the same. We have all the same struggles. And we all did the best we could. And that's enough. You are enough. I am enough. You are not a machine. You are a living being on this beautiful planet, like the little bumblebees flying around. I'm using a very soft brush to blend in the colors. It's so easy and makes a smooth, 
color gradient. Look how colorful it came out. I like it a lot. Now I have to save it as a PSD file and open it on Photoshop to play around with my watercolor layer. For me the background is too pale so I make a color correction and I also need a color saturation. Then I duplicate the background layer. Sometimes it's good to have a backup or I can multiply them together to have a more brilliant color. I play around a lot and change the opacity of my outline layer in some place. I like it when the structure of the colorful watercolor layer shines through my other layers. The type should be bright and white. That it is more readable and I like the contrast. It's finished and I like it. Look at this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe, that would be nice. Have an awesome day, yours Xunani.